Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my show that is Deb Chanel's 48's World and I am none other than Deb Chanel. Okay, I want to make a quick story here or do a quick story on Nene Leakes feeling that she is being iced off the show. Okay, kind of like when she was on Glee and she had a few episodes during the season they were taping and they quickly in a fast and hurry got rid of her okay she was nowhere to be seen i think she may have uh debuted uh, during a particular season maybe three or four episodes but then that was cut very short and she had to uh subsequently return back to real housewives of atlanta but i'm getting this story from the jasminebrand.com as well as okmagazine.com get into it okay news you can use on all the entertainment news i feel i want to bring out guys okay but again i am deb chanel and you're on deb chanel's 48's world channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share my videos at your leisure okay but let's get on into this particular article it was written by okmagazine.com and the author of the um particular article being written up is a i don't know if it's a lady or a man but we're going to say mr and mrs germain over there working for okmagazine.com she titled her article as real housewives of atlanta star nene leaks responds to fans who say she's been pushed off the show or in better words iced off the show okay get into it it was published on december 31st all right uh new year's eve and it reads uh similar to this or it reads just as this they're giving us a little background history of when Nene actually started the show. It says the reality star has been a part of the series since its debut in October of 2008. Yes, that's when Nene made her debut on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Or should I say the start of the franchise for The Real Housewives of Atlanta. She goes on to say Nene Leakes is fighting for airtime. On Monday, December 30th, The Real Housewives of Atlanta star 52 took her instagram to express her grievances okay with the reality series and she agreed with fans who felt that she was being strategic uh strategically iced off the show i mean i'm like what they got a plan in place nene you supposed to be top dog over there girl getting paid those trump checks in a sense allegedly okay now we definitely seen that you didn't appear to the third episode on season 12 but like you said you were in negotiations of your new current contract and the most of us that had eyes to hear i mean eyes to see and ears to hear we saw what you did on season 11 did you really think they were just gonna let you slide on by do that infringement like it wasn't nothing now i have to agree with you no he didn't have no time no right no space to go into your private closet i understand that and candid and portia was wrong as well however we didn't have to put hands on the man and they said girl in them streets you punched his teeth out he lost a few teeth then you kind of pulled on portia's little belt around her little dress she had now all of this is allegedly okay you ain't confessed to it but uh portia did allude to it <laughs> Okay, and we didn't even get the cameraman side of what went on, but it just is what it is. So we think you just pretty much got slapped on your hand and said, don't do that no more, okay? But you've been feeling yourself over there, and then to me, you haven't been bringing the OG status, okay, that we are so fond of you being, uh, bringing to us in the past episodes during the past seasons, I don't know. Do you want it anymore? Nene Leaks, that's what I'm getting that you don't want it no more. And they pretty much uh is just saying you're just being greedy or whatnot and they're not here for it, okay? You didn't really bring us nothing. You haven't really brought us anything. Only thing we saw was uh I think it was when you came back, maybe see uh episode three or four where you walked out on Marlo. Now that's when I played 
and took your card from you because OGs just don't do that. And this is all my sidebar. It is not in the article. All right. But going back to the article, it said a promo for the December 29th episode suggested that Nene will be involved in some highly intense drama in the latest episode. However, when the episode premiered, the Bravo star only appeared in the last few seconds of the show. And that was true. That was just like the Terminator say the Terminator was saying in um terminator one i'll be back you know remember that honest for nigga thing and technically that's pretty much what they gave you five minutes time for you to just show up talk in the lobby to tanya tanya sitting like she's getting you together in a sense where we're where we at at this point what we would like you to do like she was a part of production or something i'm like what what is tanya doing girl just bring her to the to the ladies and let her have you know but she walks up there in the last episode we saw on the 29th like whatever and nobody gave her no royalty like of um uh, welcoming itself for marlo okay and i'm really thinking marlo's finna slip up and take uh nini's jaw right in front of her she ain't coming in the back of her she ain't coming in the sides she coming straight in front okay so i don't know maybe nini's time has come and gone but like i said nini let greed drive her to where the sit she's the seat she's sitting in now because she feels like she only want to film when she wants to film she only want to film with said people and you know she want to pick and choose when she comes out and do her thing and that's not what we used to see in nini do we used to seeing Nene showing up in every episode and every season and she showing her preternatural ass. Now, see, that's what we were really wanting and hoping for. But Nene been acting wrong in them streets with her fans or her viewers of the show being very totally negative to them. And they going on their own social media platforms blasting. Can I say it again? Blasting Nene for the negative. And then she probably showing out with the executives. And they probably like, they're probably thinking like, girl, you are one in a million. We made you. We found you from nothing. We can do the same with somebody else. And right now we are priming and propering up Marlo Hampton. They probably didn't say that. That's just my sidebar. But that's probably what they wanted to say. Okay, Nene. So I'm giving you a clue. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, um... I'm happy with the end results. Nene aired out her frustrations on Instagram. Just finished watching tonight's a hashtag Real Housewife of Atlanta. Tune in to see me walk through the door the last 30 seconds of this episode. She noted, last week tease was just that, a tease. The end, hashtag they tried it. I'm like, well, no, Nene. We saw you actually get out of the car or the driver of the car was letting you out of your or uh, well, his vehicle your chauffeur however you want to uh see him as and you rudely told him to get your bags okay like he didn't know that was a part of his job as well okay and then tanya met you as you entered the uh hotel x out there in toronto canada she sat and had a little a banter talk with you and whatnot so that was like five minutes seven minutes tops and then towards the end we saw you walk in and you didn't get a response that you were uh feeling you were fitted for okay so it is what it is you've been nasty rude and everything else you remember your, your term so nasty so rude they pretty much giving it back to you nene you're not the top dog anymore you lost that and i'm not like i said i think you lost it around that uh third or fourth whenever you came back you wasn't after you was just like oh I, I need my spiritual guide counselor where is she did it you know i i'm like no nene first your other uh, storyline was greg and his counsel we let you have that one now you're coming back saying um you're trying to do a new leaf you you're in spiritual counseling and the lady's helping you tremendously but we're not seeing it because we're still seeing so nasty so rude nini okay so i'm i just don't know what you're giving me right now nini i don't that's why you're sitting on the bench over here at dev chanel's for this world because you ain't doing nothing and we need ogs out there professing claiming it achieving it and and representing and right now marlo hampton is doing a damn good job okay as your replacement that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying okay because even you feeling it you saying you being asked out okay 
That's my pun intended. Let's go back to the article. It goes to say several of Nene followers were also unimpressed with the amount of airtime the housewives OG received. One fan commented, they're definitely, they're definitely icing you off the show. Slowly but surely. No matter what you've always be the HBIC. To which Nene responded, okay, well you can do all that, okay. And not depositing them Bravo checks somewhere else. But until you find another steady gig, you need to be solidifying yourself to stay on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Five minutes per episode, ten, whatever. I think you still get paid the same, right? So be breezy with it. But going back to the article, it says a second fan commented, it seems like they trying to phase you out. Once again, the Bravo star replied, okay, trying to be in her Cardi B voice, I guess. Then we got a third user wrote, maybe this is a setup for your own show on a new network. Without you, it just doesn't work as well with nothing but love for the others, but the queen reigns supreme. Now, I really thought that myself of Nene at one point in time, but like I said, she showed me nothing. Season 12, okay, not a doggone thing. And I don't know because they tapped her hands and they excused her for the first couple of episodes. But she should have been on it like popcorn, popping hot and ready to come out and be in my mouth you know what i'm saying when it hit that second uh episode i mean that third episode she should have been out like it you know she was fighting for this for her dear life you know because greg need his benefits he need his medical dental and vision and he's depending on nene to bring in that bread that butter and the whole uh kit and caboodle because he can't do nothing all right but she's doing what she want to do living her life and she's over there hanging with wendy williams so we know the type of things she could be getting into hint 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 okay anyway moving on from there going back to the article it says on monday december 30th the real reality star also retweeted a post that read at bravo tv uh, want to show my girl Nene Leaks for 30 seconds after those itches sat around and discussed her for 30 minutes. Okay, well, all they say, press, all press ain't good press, but it could be if you thought about it long enough. Uh, then it says Nene has been very vocal about her treatment on the show ahead of the December 15th episode. The new normal actress wrote a message on Instagram saying, tune in. Uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta tonight and watch these girls slander me per usual like I have have been a punching bag for them and others at this point for real. If they didn't talk about me, what the hell would they talk about? Oh, I forgot each other like they already do at Bravo TV 8 p.m. Now, the ending of her article, she's asking, do you think Nene Leaks is being pushed off the show? Sound off in the comments. And I'm going to ask y'all to sound off in the uh, comments section. And y'all tell me what y'all think about it. Do you think Nene's pride is just getting in the way? And they're pretty much dealing with her like she's been dealing with them for, I don't know, the umpteenth seasons they've been dealing with her. Maybe they are getting tired because maybe she's thinking that she pretty much owns bravo or at least the bravo franchise when it comes to real housewives of atlanta you know somebody them bump their head and it seems like it's really nene lee so i think hey you have made you definitely was a forefronter and you definitely was an og and you still have been on it for um several seasons may have missed what two seasons i'm guessing maybe just one but it just is what it is you got to stay in it you got to maintain it and you got to continue to grow in nene you can't just keep making all these ultimatums and thinking you're gonna come up with the winning hand all the time nope i think you played your hand too short too fast and too soon and you don't think they can just clone another one of you or just introduce somebody else other than you and you don't think you could be replaced but everybody's replaceable honey everybody's in, uh, replaced when you got to keep reinventing yourself but somehow down the line somewhere you got off the choo-choo train and thought you can make it on your own well i'm here to tell you nobody does anything on their own they do need help it is some good people out there that when they've made it they pull you up and they expect the same thing for you to do to the next person but somewhere it seems like you lost your track your way of thinking on 
who needs to be showing who really is the OG. I'm just saying. That's just my pun intended. That's just how I'm seeing you. And I've been watching you for a long time on this show. But you have gotten to be so conceited. So unbearable to work with. Guess what they do with people like you. Uh, with that same mentality. They ask you out. They get rid of you. Your history. So think about that, Nene. When you hopefully will get a season 13 sign up. Come on. Give us the Nene we used to uh, love. And we used to be at our TV sets waiting to see you cut up and act up. Okay. Reclaim your fame. Uh, being in the queen of Real Housewives of Atlanta. And the rest of the ladies are just princesses. That's what I'm waiting on. That's what I'm de uh, desiring of you. But then again, if you have been touched or, or taunted or uh, promoted and you're going to be on some other show or you're going to possibly have a reality show of your own or maybe you're going to have a talk show. I don't know. But I'm telling you, we already got one Wendy Williams and Lord knows her reign is coming to an end. And I don't know, maybe she's going out to pasture or maybe she's going to do something else. I mean, just like Oprah. Pulled up her stakes and started going other places and other things and owning other things and other places. Maybe it's time for you to go. I don't know. I hate to see you go, especially when you're not on top. But it just is what it is. But as usual, get down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about subject matter uh, that was being displayed to you on the tube today. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my video channel so we can dialogue dialogue and just have a family affair over here but that's my last video for tonight guys y'all be breezy as my daughter says and i'll check you out next video bye bye